Welcome back to Encamin's Let's Play of Fable 3. Alright, I'm just about ready to go and continue on with the main storyline, but before I do that, I'm gonna show you all the Sunset House, finally. Oh, a bunch of forest hobs. Not that hard. Compared to their civil, I don't know if civil is going to be the right term. Magic using pants wearing mustache forming brothers. Yeah, the ones with guns seem to have mustaches in military suits. Okay. Alright, you see right over here there is a demon door. That one will open up. If you have, if you become king or queen of the place, and that's all the requirement. Inside is a million bucks, or not bucks, million gold coins. Silver key right there. There's not too much else over here on this side of the fence. On that side of the fence, ah, now there is. Now our first stop on this side will be over here to this gazebo which is still intact as you can see up there there is a remains of a house right here at the gazebo got four statues now I'll have to remember these a cheering lady a wrist holding guy uh, okay, uh, upward cheering lady and a pointing guy. It's gonna be very important if I remember. Baron von Orphan was a dabbler in the black arts. Uh, just a moment. I found out just you hanging off to the sanctuary will stop those book readings. Right. I'll be back over here at night, assuming that nothing strange happens. Oh. Dig spot. What do you have over here for me, dog? Oh, right there. Okay. Eh, just some cash, which is good. Oh, hey, I now have enough to buy that last house. Just a moment, people. Last property I can that I believe I can get until I unlock the desert city of Aurora, Aurora, or whatever it is. Now I may not have much cash right now, but I will be building my cash funds over time, especially when I'm off over the note. Well, as I go start the revolution, get the last allies and whatnot. Alright. Back here is a gold door. Right behind it is a chest with legendary weapon. With the prince file, I got the, a pistol called Briar, Briar Rose. Uh oh. Still something there. Don't like being in the middle of a Hollow Man crowd. This is really the only enemy on this side of the fence, so once you take care of them, you got nothing else to deal with. I'm trying to take guys down, so it's not going to take much to get the rest of it taken care of. There we go. Now there would also be a gnome over here too, but I haven't started that one just yet. There really is not much out here yet. What are you barking at now? Oh, dig a spot again? Cash? Most likely cash or just some small gem. Or a small but pricey gem, a diamond. As you can see, here the house remains. Now 
Now, there's not much else to do here aside from and more aside from waiting for nightfall. I will go ahead and cut the recording here and we'll bring it right back as soon as I can get to the night. Yeah, I have to wait, you don't have to. Okay, here we are, it's night, and as you can see, the house is spooky. Well, or it's glowing because it's a ghost house right now. Only appears during night, and right now, I can't go in it. Yet. See? You can see the moon going right through it. So, now the gazebo is also glowing too. Statues. Oh, the statue has changed. Well, I need to make match them. Two. Three. Four. Okay. If I recall, it takes only four clicks on each one to actually get where you need, so you don't exactly need to remember what they were. If you just remember, it's four taps. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Instantly daylight, and the house is there. It has been recovered. Let's go explore the house that we can now go in. That wasn't there before. That was only a ghost house. Ooh. Unfortunately, there's not really any ghosts inside. Well, that really depends on what you call them, but not the ones that we, we've encountered so far. Or at least, wait. Was there any recordings I encountered? If you are reading this, then the house has returned somehow. I feared this might happen, so before I burnt it down, I left a note for those that might follow. Then, as the house burned, I realized the note would burn too, so I wrote a second one. But when I went to place that note, I found the first one untouched. So I had to write a third one to explain all of that, which is this one. But the point is, the house is cursed by an entity of pure evil and malice. It is the stuff of nightmares. So whatever you do, do not sleep here. You've been warned. I don't take wa warnings kindly. Alright, well. Alright. When you get through all this, there'd be a note that's saying called Shoot the Difference. And, well, I'm not sure if I can jump that and just get right to it. Now, there's a difference in this room compared to the other room, which we'll see eventually. Red dot, shoot it, and that door opens. Okay. That's what's in this chest. Slow time potion and guild seals. Can I loot these? No. No one? Nope. Oh well. Well, let's go up to the door that opened when we read the note. Giant toys, burning room. A lot of dividers to keep you from getting set on fire. Well, let us sleep. Dream world. <laughs> Let's go talk to Chesty. He likes playing games. <laughs> he wants to be super best friends, so we play chess. He likes killing people too, so it, it's so much fun, isn't it? Yes, it is. As long as I don't get killed. Pop 
Bonds are the chickens. Ha! Shall we beat Chesty at chess? He moves his pawn. I didn't actually finish a game with chest against Chesty. Don't worry, I don't think you'll be seeing a full move of chess. Or a full game of chess being played. He'll change the rules eventually. Ah, he's moving his knight. Over there. Ooh. Knight takes pawn. King will take. I don't know which one. That's one. Yeah, King will take. So as soon as you take a piece from him, he so restores the board. <laughs> this game is stupid. Ah, there are so many rules. Let's play a new game. Hope you like it, because I made it myself. I call it Chesty's Chest. Bye. And now I gotta fight them. Not that bad. Basically, I could do this till he's out of pieces. Seems like just a ghost child type thing. He's giving me the house. I can sleep pillar, kill stuff, and play chess whenever I want. Right. Out of the dream world, please. It's, it house hasn't changed its look just yet, but a door has opened. Ooh. Are these loadable? Yeah. Not much in them. Standard gift cash thing stuff. As you can see, miserable dinner with a or setting wooden house burned out whatever. And on the other side of the mirror, with a floating skull, is a much nicer looking one. Now here's the thing: the skull represents me. But there is a glowing thing over on the wall back there. And if it represents me, I gotta get that skull jumping in, in there. Now there's two more on that side of the wall. Just have to go right where it is. How is it? This one? Yep, 
right about here. That. Oh, right there. Okay. Now, right at the window, just vault right through. Much nicer. Or maybe this is how it was before it burnt down. But I don't see why the different there'd be a difference of the uh, chairs looking like wooden board ones compared to nice ones. All right. Well, let's run out here. Now remember what I said about shooting the difference. There's a note right here that says that, too. The typo! What? Tactical, personal, offensive weapon. Alright. Essentially, things to do for that one is, like, make friends, make people love you, and raise moral standing. Alright, back up here to the bedroom, and... Oh my, it looks nice, not as haunted. Let's search the things up here. Essentially, it's just a gift. Ah, look, there's the chessboard. <gasps> Toy chest with a bear, a doll, and a horse, which we saw burning in the other room. Right, well... Let's head out. Yes, you can go out on the other side. And when you come back in, you will come back in on that side. Right, well, on to the main story now. Let's repair all because we're going to be away for a little while. On to industrial. Just zip over to the pub. It's like one of the closest checkpoints you can fast travel to. I was near the pub. Your soul's well beyond salvation. Thank you. Let's head on down to the resistance. Now one of the goals I want to have is to, well, from what I had to read online, in the treasury there's this, there's this key chest at the back of, at the bottom. And you have to basically drain nearly all your treasury out to be able to get to it. But the key for that chest is high above it. And the only way to get to that is with a 5 million or more in your treasury and just climb up the go pile of gold. So I am wanting to get to that this time. Ben told us what happened. Swift was a good friend. He died like a true soldier. <laughs> a true soldier? Let's not pretend there was anything noble about the way he died. He was tortured, humiliated, and murdered. And he didn't give Logan anything, or we'd be dead now. I called that noble. It was just a matter of time before Logan did this. Before he decided to hunt us down. We have to fight back. We're still not ready, though. We need more allies, and thanks to Swift's efforts, we know exactly where to look. Before he was executed, the Major managed to send us a message. A soldier still loyal to the old guard brought it to me, at great risk to his life. What does it say? Well, this is Swifty we're talking about, so it's rather straightforward. You will find allies in Aurora. I still don't understand how anyone there could help us. Aurora is a dead land. 
There's nothing there. Or at least, that's what we've been told. It's still the only lead we have anyway. Can we get on with the plan? I have an overwhelming urge to shoot someone. First thing, we'll need a ship. You and Ben will get hold of one, while Paige and I make sure the rest of the fleet doesn't follow. You'll need to go via the back alleys, and they'll be crawling with soldiers. Not a problem. I know my way around the place. I'll meet you at the back of the sewers. We're gonna show Logan just what traitors can do. Go on. My men are putting together the materials we'll need. It should be quite a display. Aurora is a distant place. It could be a while before we return. If there's things you need to do, now's the time. Now, I've done everything ah, I hello. need for the time being. I have also stocked up on some healing potions and food. Before I go, I want to check something. A new hammer has been added to your armory. Yes, thank you. When you need to attack a target from a great I distance see and don't mind sacrificing to, firing to speed, liquidate. a rifle is ideal. Uh, I still got ways to go. Alright, let's go. You know, Swift taught me almost everything I know about being a soldier. Let's show these bastards how it's done. I think I may end up doing a lot of shooting this time around, rather than spell casting. Is my gun upgraded to the highest it can do right now? I better take a quick check on that. I know I've done that with spells, but I don't recall if I did that with guns. Yes, yes, I'm taking more time if you want to see the action. Oh, a spell. Missed that one. Force push. Jedi Knight. Whoosh. And... Ah, oh, stuck. Okay, apparently the melee is still over here. 104 guild seals because it's this one, it gets this one, the one back there, and wait, let's see, 80, yeah, just those two. You get all the ones before it. Eh, might as well. I may end up having to hit some stuff. And now the hammer looks shinier. Or like a fish or bone axe. Huh. Whatever. I don't have to worry too much because beyond this gate is just a one spell, the blade spell. After that, you have to be the ruler and there'd be the three chests. One for each the final part of each of the combat. Alright, where'd he go? There he is. We need to get to the far end of the dock, so probably best not to shoot until we have to. Come on. Uh, leave the talking to me. I have an idea. I don't trust your idea. Huh, Doug. Something to dig up? Where? Come on. I'm not coming here again. I don't even know if I can come here again. Ah, huh, diamond. Good dog. I know, but can I just say, wow, <laughs> you look so stylish, you know, with the helmets and everything. And me and my friend were wondering if we could join you, because, I mean, you just make us ordinary soldiers feel so inadequate. Leave. Oh, come on. Don't you have any leaflets or application forms we could take with us? 
If we could just get inside and get your autographs, we are huge fans. Leave, or we'll be forced to terminate you. Ooh, see? Even Works their vocabulary is stylish. Your head's coming off, and soon we're okay. under attack! Watch out, the traitor! More explosive barrel. Be careful with those barrels, they're full of guns. <laughs> Quick fun. Oh, more! Uh, many boom. Those guns played so much against both of them, do they? I know they are. That's where the fun is. We're the best trained soldiers. <laughs> yes, boy, I know it's there. Hoyan's mercenary boots. Okay. Sorry about the set, but I'll thank you. Actually, with all things considering. Welcome to the sanctuary. Let's go for a change in the outfit. Some new garments have been added to your wardrobe. Uh, not the tattoo sets. Ah, there we go. Women's mercenary outfit. Uh, hmm. Nah. What do you say? Good heavens, you look terrifyingly good. <laughs> in a frightening sort of way. Uh, it's, it's funny when he has that negative shock comment. Uh, so while you were gone, I pulled up more of those free downloads for this thing, and including a Highlanders set. Ah, I... an excellent change, I think, my heart may resume its natural rhythm now. <laughs> Aye, let's go. Let's get out yes. of here. The doctor's just round the corner. Yes, horrible Scottish accent to go with the Scot the kilt and Scot other things. It's the Highlander. That could be only one. I have an overwhelming urge to play you. following us after all. Yes, let's go. On to the boat. Are you guys coming? She's staying behind. Someone needs to organize things here. Now come on! Oh, must have been talking about Paige. I didn't hear Ben say anything, so I just Walter just started talking.
Okay, Sam Ackroyd, right? It's excellent at this time.